Okay, today we're going to make a Shepherd Fairy style uh, propaganda poster. He made the Obama Hope poster, and you're going to be able to choose your own picture and put whatever words that you want at the bottom. So the first thing you want to do is find one of those Hope posters or something that you're going to model your poster after and pull it up in Photoshop, and then you're going to go to Image, Image Size, and change the width to 1,000 pixels. Make sure that constrained proportions and scale styles is checked so that the height will remain uh, whatever it needs to be so that uh, the aspect ratio is right. The resolution can be 72 and then hit OK. All right, next you're going to choose your own picture. In this case, I have chosen a picture of Martin Luther King Jr. And you're going to select his head using the quick selection tool. After you have his head and upper body selected, you're going to use the Move tool to drag him over to your Obama Hope Poster page. Now, you want to make sure that his head touches the top, um, and of course you can stretch him out as long as you click on the link so that it maintains aspect ratio. And I think I'll make it just a, a little bit smaller. His body does not have to touch the bottom because you're going to have a square here that's going to contain your text, and so it won't show if it doesn't touch the bottom. Okay, next you want to hide the background layer. Select layer one, and what we're going to do is add a filter. So you're going to go to filter, down to filter gallery. You're going to choose cutout. The number of levels should be five because you're going to use five different colors. If you wanted to use a bunch of different colors, you could change it to eight. Um, the less levels, the less detailed it is. So we're going to choose five, the edge simplicity to five, and the edge fidelity to one. And then you hit OK. All right, the next thing we're going to do is add three adjustment layers. So let's start with the first one. You're going to click down here on the adjustment layer, and you're going to choose channel mixer. Click monochrome. That's going to turn it different shades of gray. Okay, the next one we're going to do is posterize. So you're going to do adjustment layer, go to posterize, and we have five levels, so type five there. The last one is going to be a gradient map. So you're going to choose gradient map, and then you're going to click on the gradient and start adding some stops with different colors. So the first stop will be this one down here, and we're going to click it and then we're going to change the color. So to change the color, you're going to click on the color box. And we're just going to type in the hexadecimal code. In this case, we already know the colors for the Obama Hope poster. And the first one is 00324D. Then we're going to click down here in this gray area to add another stop. It really doesn't matter where because we're going to change the location to tell it where to go. All right, so we're going to change the color first. And we're going to type in the next color code, which is E01825. You'll hit OK, and the location is going to be at 25%, so basically a fourth of the way down. Okay, we're going to add, click to add another one. This color is going to be 7498A4. We're going to change the location of this one to 50% so that it's halfway down. All right, let's add one more stop. The color for this is going to be a yellow. It is FDE5A9. Hit OK, change the location to 75%, and then click on this very last one that's already there. You won't have to add one. It's at the, it's at the end, already at 100%, but you need to do the same color that's at 75%. So I'm just going to type it in again, FDE5A9. And hit OK. If you move this out of the way, you can kind of see how it ends up. Um, depending on what kind of poster you want to do, you can kind of play around with the colors. You know, if you wanted yours to look a little different, feel free to play around with these colors. And then hit OK. OK. Sorry, I skipped ahead. The next step, what I want you to do is take the visibility off of the gradient map and the posterize. Leave on Channel Mixer in Layer 1. And we're going to add kind of a striped pattern to the second lightest color. Um, you don't want to choose the lightest, you want to choose the second lightest, which will be this gray color for mine. 
And the way to do that is you're going to pull up your magic wand tool, make sure that contiguous is not checked, change the tolerance to 10, and you're going to click on that second lightest color and it'll select it everywhere on your picture that it, that it um, occurs. Okay, and the next thing you want to do is add a blank layer. It will go right above, actually, we're going to drag it down because we want this blank layer to be above layer one but below our adjustment layers. And then you're going to add a mask by clicking on the mask button down here. And what that does is it's going to mask everything except for what you had selected. So we're going to go to the blank area of this layer two and we're going to fill it with a gray color. There's a couple of ways to do that, but let's just click on these two small squares so that it pulls up our default colors. Then you're going to click on the foreground color, which is black, and on brightness you're going to change it to 50% and hit OK. And then we'll just use a paint bucket to actually fill that layer in. You can't say a huge difference, but over here it actually filled in the entire layer and only what is um, white on the layer mask is showing. Okay, now we're going to add a filter. Make sure that you have this selected. You're going to go up to the top to filter, go to the filter gallery, go down to the sketch folder. You're going to choose halftone pattern. You're going to change the pattern type to line. The size should be 1 and the contrast is 50. And then hit OK. And you see what it did there. So now let's just go ahead and add visibility back to our picture. Okay, let's go ahead and start making our borders and background. The easiest thing to do is take visibility off of everything except for this Obama Hope poster that you have here because we're going to choose the same kind of um, border or background that he did. So we're going to use a rectangular marquee tool and we're going to select the inside okay once you've done that you've selected the inside what we actually want to do is select the outside so to do that you're going to go to select inverse or shift control I. Now you can see that you have the outside selected so we're going to make a blank layer and we're going to drag it to the very top. You want to sample that yellow color using your eyedropper. And then you're, you're going to use the paint bucket to fill it in. Okay, probably can't tell you've done anything. If you take the eyeball off, you should see it. Okay, control D to deselect. Get so far. Okay, we're going to now select you can start anywhere outside, but you want to basically get where the text is going to go, right? So you're going to draw this big rectangle at the bottom of your picture, and then you're going to sample the blue color. Now this, and you're going to use the paint bucket, but not yet. First you want to make a brand new layer, and now you can fill that in with blue. Control D. Okay, so we want the blue to actually be below the yellow border. So we're just going to drag layer four below layer three. Okay. Now let's take the Obama picture off for a second and just see how ours looks. Okay, it's looking good so far. Now the only thing we have left to do is add the background. Okay, so I'm just going to take my eyeball off again, put the Obama picture back on. Um, this is a, it's not tricky, but it, it's a little different. So what you're going to do is add a blank layer above layer one. You are going to draw a rectangle around our page until we get to half. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on the default squares to get your black again. When you click on the foreground color, you're going to set the brightness to 50%. The reason we're doing that is because we have set the channel mixer 
to assign the 50% location as this blue color. Okay, so now we're going to get our paint bucket and we're going to fill it in with the 50%. Now, it's not going to show up right yet, but when we click on the gradient map, it'll turn the blue color. Okay, next we want to select um, the opposite, so you can just do select inverse. Now it's selecting the other half of the page. You're going to click on our foreground color, and this time instead of 50, we're going to do 25 because we had assigned earlier red to the 25% mark. So we're going to hit OK. Use our paint bucket, fill it in. It doesn't look like it's quite half, does it? Okay, let's see how it looks now. We're going to add visibility back to all of our layers. Control D. Let me control D. Oh, we need to move layer 5 below our picture. Okay, it looks pretty good. The last thing we need to do is add our font or our text. So we're going to just go to the top here. Click on the text tool. We're going to choose the color of this light blue. Hit OK. The font is, you can use Arial. You can also use, let's see, what was the other one that was that would look pretty good? Um, it's a bold. Hmm. I'm going to start out with just Arial and see how this looks. Okay, I'm going to click down here. I'll go ahead and make it bigger. I'm going to type dream. Okay, now we're going to pull up our character box here. I'm going to make it bigger. Let's see. I want characters just to be normal. 100%, 100%. I'm going to show you how to make this font a little thicker by cheating. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a, um, an effect to it. So with the font selected or the text layer selected, you can click on this FX button and go to Stroke. On Stroke, you're going to choose the color of this blue. Hit OK. You can increase or decrease the amount of stroke. I'm going to increase it just a bit. And then I'm going to spread my letters out so that it doesn't look bad. Double click, click on the folder. I'm going to increase this just a bit. And then center it up. And there you have your Shepherd Fairy propaganda poster.